once you have your view or series of views ready to export, go up to the application menu, down to export, images and animations, and select image. In my pop-up window, I can now specify my output location, rename it if I want to, as well as adjust the image size. Now if I'm going to be exporting multiple images, I may want them all to be a standard size, and this is where I can specify that. I can also modify my direction, as well as if I want to print based off the actual crop region or the actual size, I can control that as well as scale that here. My format can be specified down here. Do I want to use a bitmap, JPEG, PNG, target, or TIFF? And for right now, I am going to specify JPEG lossless. And you'll also notice that my raster image quality can be modified. And so this is my DPI or my dots per inch or pixels per inch. And for a good print quality, you want to be at least 300, if not 600. Sometimes you'll notice that this is grayed out, which means that it's going to be based off of this type of image size. And here you can see that it's not accessible. So keep that in mind. Also, if we're going to be printing a portion of a window or a view, we can do that here, as well as if we want to select multiple views and sheets. And we can go in here and select the different views or load a selection set if we would like. Now, the cool thing is, and I bet most people didn't know this, once we select this option, we now have another option, create a browsable website with a linked HTML page for each view, which is kind of really cool. Basically, Revit will create a website for you of your project. And one of the options you can do is come down here and click view links in blue. And what that will do, it will make the elevation tags, the section tags, and view tags in your plan navigate to the actual views themselves and so I recommend trying that out and seeing what type of website or what type of format you can print your project to and it's pretty cool as well as you know some of these other features here you may want to turn on and off that's exporting an image in a nutshell